Okay, so today we're going to talk about the Toyota. There's some controversy about um, using the charger that comes with it, which is this charger. This comes from Toyota. So it comes with this end on it. It's got this charging part in the middle. This box charge controller. And it's just got 120 volts in Canada and North America. It's got this 120 volt plug on it. So if I plug this charger into my into the wall and then into my car, it will take my car five and a half hours to charge. So let's just try it. So we're gonna plug in this end to 120 volts. Maybe. Okay. And then we take this end, plug it in the car. And I have it scheduled, so I'm going to just have to plug it back in within five seconds to force it to start charging immediately. And I hear the click, 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 and the red, green light is on solid, so the car is, and then that thing went click, click. And you can see that it looks all good. If we open the door and look on the dash, you can see time to full charge is five hours and 20 minutes. So... Because that takes such a long time, I paid a lot of money and bought one of these. This is made by Flow. It's a Canadian company. This is aluminum housing. It's literally bulletproof, extra flexible cord for very cold Canadian winters. Works great. So if I take this one, on the other hand, and if I plug it into the car, at, this one runs at 240 volts. Let me unplug the 120 volts. Everything went click again. Now I'll plug in the 240 volt one. And I get the flashing light again. Okay, flashing green light. So I have to plug it in within five seconds to force an immediate charge. Bunch of clicking and a solid green light. So now I'm charging at 240 volts from my big flow charger. If we look at the dash now, it says time to full charge one hour and 50 minutes. Okay, so that sped up the charge substantially. However, since I paid $1,500 for this, uh, this uh, level two charger, um, and luckily in British Columbia, our local utility, BC Hydro, paid one quarter. The federal or the provincial government paid one quarter, so they collectively paid a half of the total cost of fourteen hundred. So I only had to pay seven hundred for that charger. Then I was reading online and I found out that you can wire this one, this charge controller that comes from Toyota. You can wire it into two hundred and forty volts, and it'll do the very same job. And it comes with the car. You purchase it when you. You purchase it it's included in the purchase price of the car so let's try that so what I did this circuit that this plug-in is attached this circuit on the wall is on this side of my breaker panel this circuit for the vacuum cleaner up here with this black cord this one is on the opposite side of my circuit breaker panel over here. You don't necessarily have to go across the panel, but if you go from that metal tab to that metal tab, in other words, this two pole, so as long as they're separated by one pole from each other, you can measure 200, you get a 240 volt circuit across here. So between the hot on that plug-in and the hot leg on the plug-in over here with the blue cord, I have connected these two together Right here. So here's the black cord. Here's the blue cord. And I have the hot from the blue cord going to this side, the hot from the black cord going to this side. The ground is still attached to ground. And when I take my meter now and measure across that plug between there and the opposite side there. 244 volts. So there is no neutral on this cord anymore. 
it's two pots it's 240 volts coming from the panel you can do that with two separate plug-ins each one wired to a different half of the of the panel okay so now i've got them both plugged in i got 240 volts here so now if i take this cord let me put the big one away so i'm going to put this here okay now i'm going to plug my toyota plug included charge controller into this plug-in and you can see the orange light comes on tells me it's happy with the power if I now take the other end of that charge controller the blue one that comes with the car and plug it in and the green light is flashing so I have to plug it in within five seconds again okay green light is solid click 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 everything's now charging and now if I look on the uh, dash of the car this charge will take one hour and 40 minutes the car is perfectly happy with that this charge controller is perfectly happy with this I've done this many times there's no overheating there's no there's nothing I can't seem to find any bad any bad effects whatsoever on the back of this it says to be used on a 120 volt circuit however I have a suspicion Toyota makes one of these charge controllers for the world and lots of the world for example European countries England in particular runs on 240 volts 50 Hertz in Canada it's 120 volts 60 Hertz so probably to save money during manufacturing Toyota just made one unit for all countries and they change the sticker on the back depending on where it's being shipped so there you have it I had absolutely no need to spend fifteen hundred dollars on this charger what I might do with this one now is uh, it just plugs into uh, a 240 volt dryer or dryer or welder plug outlet I may move put an outlet outside move this unit outside and then I'll have a charger outside and I can plug in uh, my car on the inside in this way but um, I have no need to uh, to charge in a hurry today so I'm going to put it back on the 120 volt charge which takes five hours and 10 minutes so if I just unplug it from here and now plug it directly into the wall I'm on 120 volts instead of 240 it's happy again car has gone back to oh it's stayed on full charge this time because I didn't unplug this handle however the voltage source changed and the car went back to full charge in five hours and zero minutes okay and there we have it so I hope that saves you a few dollars uh, I wouldn't necessarily buy one of these big uh, level two chargers unless you absolutely need one there's no need to do it uh, you can look online you'll find people have been doing this and getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of charges with no ill effects so far on the uh, included charger that comes from toyota i'm sure once uh, if there's any bad effects do come up somebody will start posting that but to date nobody has reported anything going wrong by using this method over and out okay so the way you can make one of these cords if you if you really want to is you take the uh, your two cords on this one I have the on the black one I have the uh, the green ground tape back not used and the white neutral tape back not used I'm only using the black and then on the other cord I'm using the green to the green and the black of the other cord the neutral shown on this one should be taped back it's not it's just loose but I should tape it back so on the second cord I'm using the green which goes to the green here I'm using the black of the second cord tied to the white which goes to the wide the wide plug here and on the first cord I'm using the black which goes to the black which goes to the narrow here so it's the black from the uh, black cord the black from the blue cord and the green 
neither white is used. And you could hook this ground in to this ground if you want to have all three grounds together. It's not really necessary, but you can. So that's how I made that. And then that gives you 240 volts. Ignore this 120. I was using this cord for something else. That'll give you 240 volts here. Um, the other thing you can do, if you want, rather than stretching out between two different plugins like I did, is if you have access to a, a dryer plug or a welding plug, you can buy this cord and it comes with the ends just bare and you would do the same thing. You would hook one of the hots to one of the hots, the other hot to the other hot, Sorry, the ground to the ground, and then just ignore the neutral. So you'd wire it in that way. So you can also use one of these cords if you'd like. And attach it to a regular plug. You just tie it in here. And then you could plug this guy into here. So that's another way to do it. Okay, hope that saves you some money. And there you have it. One last thing I just want to add is uh, just do this at your own risk. I, I don't recommend that you do it. Uh, however, if you want to, it's totally up to you. Um, but the onus, anything goes wrong, it'll be the onus, the uh, responsibility is yours to take.